There, for some year. Hey, Yogi, what about the forest ranger? That boo boo. What about the forest ranger? Hey, who the forest ranger? <laughs> Mark some air. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I need anti-shake on. <laughs> well, now we got two problems. We got a glitch on the screen and we got the Yogi Bear. Corman, uh, 20 meters, sparks in the air. Okay, the FTDX10 is freaking out again. If you notice, I've got 18 dB of attenuation going on. The RF gain is turned all the way down as indicated on the S meter. It's holding at 60 dB. We do have a, an antenna connected. And if you look at the far right hand side of the screen, you see that, that blip going down on the waterfall? You see the spike? That is a full scale signal, those little blips. And you can see them going down on the waterfall there slowly, far right hand side of the screen. That is not normal. This radio has been doing this since I purchased it. Sometimes you turn it off, turn it back on, it's fine. I've done a full reset and it'll just randomly do this. Now there is no signal there. There's no spikes, there's no storms in the area. Matter of fact, I can disconnect the antenna and it'll still do that. So some weird glitch and it doesn't matter where i move look i'll move the vfo here sorry for the shaky camera i'll spin the vfo down the band here and just give it a second see it's still there same place now normally this would have moved if that was a signal that would have shifted off of the of the uh, spectrum the scope so i'll go down even further we'll go way down here see it still there so now now there's a signal coming into play and you can see, you got some noise on the band there. And you can see on the far right hand side, full scale spikes. Full scale spikes, and it's still uh, acting up. So, not sure what's going on with this Yezu. There's been other people online that have reported this as well. It doesn't interfere with reception, but every now and then the radio will just freak out like this and start displaying that. And sometimes turning it off and turning it back on will help but then it uh, pops back in again. So no telling, just wanted to put this video out there. If there's anybody that purchases an FTDX-10 and it starts doing this, it's pretty much normal operation. And uh, it's been brought to Yesu's attention, but there hasn't been an official release or anything from Yesu to see what's going on with this. I don't know if it's something that uh, a software, a fir excuse me, a firmware update could fix, but at this time, there's, uh, there's no information from Yesu, so. All right, guys, just wanted to share this with you. Yeah, well, you won't hear us when we're on 3-7. Oh, look. My radio's locking up now.